In this video, we're going to discover how we can create a fully fledged personalized promotion on our WooCommerce store. And by personalized, I mean a type of promotion that is not just for everyone. And instead, a promotion that works based on users action and customers behavior and their situation. So for example, you can have a promotion for your new customers, or those who have made their second purchase from you, or those coming from a specific country, and so on and so forth. So this way, by rewarding your customers based on their specific actions, you can create a more lasting relationship with your customers, encouraging them to buy more from you, just like any other promotions, though creating a promotion is comprised of two steps. Step number one is to make an announcement and let everyone know that there is an actual discount or promotion going on on your website. And step number two is to implement that discount. Now, to do this in WooCommerce, you would need a third-party plugin because this feature is not natively available on WooCommerce platform. The plugin that we use for this purpose is Selkit, and you can download it from WordPress.org or from Selkit website. It's a pretty amazing plugin. It can just handle the different type of promotions and discounts and announcements all in one single place. Now, after you install Selkit plugin on your WordPress site, you would see its options appearing on the left side of your WordPress dashboard. Click on notices. This is where we handle our announcement part. We create an announcement and let everyone know that there is an actual promotion in our website. But before we move on, let's just go ahead and see what type of promotions we're trying to create here. So in this promotion, we're going to address people whose card subtotal is more than $30. And in case the card subtotal is more than $30, they will be eligible for a 10% discount. So this is how it's going to work. Now we need to announce this with a clear message first. So let's add smart notice, give it a name. I call it card subtotal promotion. In the next step, I'm going to choose a condition for this purpose. So since I'm addressing people with a specific amount of card subtotal, I'm going to choose card subtotal. And in here, I'm going to choose threshold range. For threshold amount, I'm going to go ahead with zero. I specifically, I don't want any limit. So it's pretty much for everyone. Everyone can see this message in this case. For target subtotal amount, though, I will go with 30 because I want anyone whose card subtotal amount is less than $30 to see this message. And that is how I'm encouraging them to go ahead and add more to their cart in order to be eligible for this discount. Now, in the next step, we're going to create a content for our message. All right. Now add more to get 10% discount on your order. And in here, just between more and two, I'm going to go ahead and use a dynamic keyword. I'm going to choose remaining subtotal amount, put a space, add a dollar sign just before the dynamic keyword. Now, what this does is actually it, it's going to calculate the users or customers card subtotal amount and deduct it from the target subtotal amount and write the result in here. So this way, you're going to let your customers know that how much exactly they need to spend or they need to add to their cart in order to be eligible for this promotion. All right. This is how you can use the power of dynamic keywords on your messages. There are other dynamic keywords you can use as well. But in this case, this one seems to be perfect. OK, um, I'm going to go ahead and leave this blanks. Maybe add a button here because I want them to go and shop more. So maybe I can create a button to redirect our customers to our shop. Continue shopping. All right. In the fourth step, we're going to choose a priority since we don't have any other discounts on our store. I'm going to choose one in this case. In the last step, you're going to decide where on your website you want to display this message. I think 
the checkout page and cart page is where I want to display this message. But of course, you can add more pages. You can add even custom locations if you want to. And finally, activate this notice immediately after it's created. I will check this and hit the create button. Now, I have my announcement ready, as you can see. Let's just go ahead and check this on our website first. So this is my sample shop website, and I'm going to choose the first item and add it to the cart. There you go. Now I'm going to go ahead and visit the cart page first. OK, as you can see, I have this message at the top of the cart page, and this way the customer would immediately realize that, well, there is an actual promotion going on in this website and they need to add more $15 to get a 10% discount since they have added a $15 product already. Now, if I go back to my shop and add more items, for example, this one, now I have ordered more than $30, but there is no discount. As you can see, if I go to the checkout page, even though I met the criteria and I met the conditions and I ordered more than $30, but I don't see any discounts. It's because we have never implemented a discount. Yes, we announced our promotion and we let them know that what they should do to take advantage of this promotion, but we have not yet implemented the discount itself yet. So let's go back and create our discount as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on discounts. Okay. I'm going to go and click on add dynamic discount button. Here we have to give it a name first, just like the previous one. Okay. I call it card subtotal discount. In the next step, we're going to choose which product or which categories are going to be included in this promotion. I want all my products and all my categories to be included in this promotion. So I'm going to leave this empty as it is. So this way I'm telling Sellkit that all my products, all the categories are going to be affected by this promotion. So in the next step, I'm going to decide on what occasion users will be able to get a discount in this promotion. So it's obviously card subtotal and greater than is just fine. I'm going to write $30 here, just 30. Okay, this way I'm telling Selkit that if anyone's card subtotal amount is more than $30, then offer them a discount. Perfect. Now, in the fourth step, I'm going to choose the amount of discount. Percentage, 10%, discount label. This is where you mention a reason for your discount. So I'm going to go ahead with something like card subtotal or maybe carts above $30. And finally, in the fifth step, there are a few more options to control and refine your discount. I'm going to just check this one and enable it because I want to repeat this discount for other customers as well. I'm going to choose priority number one priority for this one because I, again, I have no more discounts right now on my store. And the last option is about expression date. Again, I'm going to leave this empty as it is because I don't need my discount to expire after some time. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and enable this because I want to activate this account immediately after it's created. And finally, create. There you go. And now our discount is in place. So let's go ahead and check it out on our website. Okay, now again, I'm going to add the first item to the cart and I go to checkout page. Okay. I can see that I have to add more $15 to get a 10% discount. I go back to the shop page. This time I add another product, maybe this one, $55. Okay. Now I'm obviously above $30. So, I should be able to see the discount as well. Now I go to the checkout page. Here we go. As you can see, the discount is applied. And this is the label of my discount. 
Now that the customers added more items to their order, they would see this discount applied. Now, this is just an example of what you can achieve with SellKit on your WooCommerce store with different types of discounts and promotions and hopefully increase your average order value and in general sales and conversions. All you need to do is to just think of many other combinations and different types of marketing techniques and create irresistible discounts and announce them with a clear message on your WooCommerce store. All right, I hope you have learned something new today and thanks for watching.